Hey there, today I'm going to show you how to paint these two illustrations with gouache. First, before we get started, I have to tell you that I've got a new Skillshare class and it's all about gouache. It's everything that you need to know about gouache. So if you have questions about that medium, check out my class and I will leave the teaser to the class at the end of this video as well as a link to all my classes in the description box. Click the link to get two months for free if you haven't done that already and check out all my classes. So as always I started off with some washi tape to get some clean borders in the end and then I started to draw this circle and then I mixed a blue grayish tone and started to paint the sky on our first piece. And at first I didn't have the paint consistency right. It was really a lot of water and it turned out really streaky, but that's not a big deal. You can always just put another layer on that. So I mixed more paint and this time I used less water and more paint and then I applied a thicker layer on top of that and you can see that it looks way cleaner and way better but I didn't worry about making it super clean so then I used a slightly lighter tone and blended that into the other tone and then I repainted the moon made sure that it looked a little bit more like a circle again and I used white paint straight out of the tube here so yeah I that's basically it <laughs> and then I used black paint from straight out of the tube as well and I painted some trees on the left and on the right side and yeah this will give you the most contrast if you use straight black color and don't mix anything into that and I wanted to have really dark trees so I did that and I also did this branch in front of the moon and it's a good idea to wait until the moon is dry, which I didn't do. <laughs> so I had to go back in and put even more paint on there, but it worked out in the end. And then I started with those plants in the foreground and I did them in black as well and just covered the entire rest of the picture. And then for our next painting I started off by sketching those really simple leaf shapes. I just wanted to make sure that I've got them in places that I really like and yeah I spread them out on the page and then I painted the background in the same black tone that I used before and I just painted the space the negative space so to speak so just the parts that weren't covered by the leaves and yeah that's what I did here that's very very simple and you can spread the leaves out in any way that you'd like to so you can really customize that to your own liking. You could also do another background color, but I figured that it was the easiest just to use black and it gives me a lot of contrast in the end. So I really like that look. And then I did some lines on my trees just to add a little bit more texture and to make them look a little bit cuter. And for that, I used a mixture of different tones so that I'd achieve a brown tone that's not too light but a little bit brighter than the black obviously. So you can see that I did that on all of the branches of the trees and I think that it adds a little cute something to it. And then I started to paint all the leaves and everything in the foreground and I moved more towards the viewer with every piece that I did. So at first I used a really dark green tone and you can see that the bottom layer is slightly re-wetted by the paint and yeah that's just something to keep in mind and to be aware of. I talk about that a lot in my Skillshare class so if you want to know that go ahead and watch it. 
And here on the second piece, I started to paint the leaves and I used different green tones for them. So I started with this dark green and painted some of them in the same color. And then I mixed other green tones and did the same thing. At first, they were just really simple shapes with no details whatsoever. And I didn't really pressure myself to get the layers to be perfect because I painted a lot over them later on so you can't really see whether it's streaky or not. And with the other piece I moved on to the next layer which is a slightly more bright green tone so we're moving on to lighter and lighter tones with every layer because those are closer to the viewer and I think that it looks really cute when they're closer. So here's another green tone on the left page and yeah the, it's really that simple just paint them and I think those are really simple to look at but you learn a lot about gouache if you do those pieces because you learn a lot about the layers and the consistency and everything. And I think that it's just a really cute idea and you could use all types of colors, all types of green tones or blue tones or whatever you could make it fall themed and do orange tones. I mean, there are so many ways that you could improve interpret those ideas and customize them and by the way if you decide to paint those pieces make sure to tag me on instagram if you decide to post it there publicly make sure to tag my account visual mind art and not just in the description of the picture but also on the picture so that i don't miss it and so that i can share it i always love to see what you guys create you are so creative create so many amazing amazing pieces I'm always stunned by that and I love to see that and here on the other piece we are moving on to the next layer it's just the same thing over and over again with brighter and brighter colors and here I had to use a very thick layer lots of paint so that it would be as opaque as possible and yeah I just played around with that trying to get the consistency right and the thicker your layer or your paint is mixed, the harder it is to control. So you have to find the right balance here. And you can see the way that I painted these leaves or branches or whatever. I just did those dots and then connected them to the stem. So this is very, very simple. It's not rocket science and you don't have to put a lot of details in there. I think that those two pieces really shine because of their simplicity in a way. So then I started putting a little bit of details onto the leaves on the left page and this was the most fun part because you can really customize your design here and make the leaves look however you want them. You could take inspiration by real leaves and look them up what they look like or you can just make up your own things, put patterns on there however you want to. Or you can just copy the things that I did here that's totally fine as well. So I did more of the ones that I did on the right page as well with the dots and the connecting and everything. And then I added those veins to all of the other leaves and just played around with different colors, used darker tones on lighter leaves and lighter tones on darker leaves, just mixed it up however I wanted to and did different kinds. Here you can see the dot and line thing again. This is just a really simple way to get really cute results in my opinion. So yeah, here I am connecting all of them. Again, trying to get the consistency to be the right kind, to get it to be as opaque as possible and while also being able to control the paint. And here I did a light on darker again. And you always have to keep in mind that gouache dries differently compared to what it looks like when it's wet. The brighter tones 
dry darker and the darker tones dry lighter so always keep that in mind i talk about that in my course as well and yeah that's just something that you have to get the hang of and once you do it's like magic i really love gouache it's something that really takes getting used to but i've used it for a while now and i really really like it i mean it's not um it doesn't i still love watercolors and i don't know which one's my favorite medium but i really really love gouache and then i added some stars to the right piece and also some more leaves with little dots this time a little bit more messy and then i did very bright branches on the left side as well and added in even more details to the remaining leaves and yeah, it's slowly really coming together. Here I, with this leaf, I just messed around doing dots and lines. And I really like that one actually. At first I didn't, then I put in even more dots and lines. And now I really like it. I think it looks really cute. And here I, yeah, dark on light, light on dark, everything. And then in the background, because it was a little bit boring, I added in those lines, those sort of branches or whatever it is. And I tried to make it look a little bit more interesting. And I think that it looks kind of cute. And some little magical dots in the middle. And then that's it. Those are the two pace pieces. Removing the washi tape is super satisfying as always. I will leave the clip for the Skillshare course now now thank you so much for watching if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel i'll see you next time goodbye hey there in this skillshare course i'm going to share with you everything that i know about gouache gouache is really versatile it can be used for a lot of things and it's a medium that's really underrated even though it has been there for a while so in this course i'm going to share with you the products that i'm using how you can mix your colors to get the results that you want to have how to get the right consistency with your paint how to achieve even and flat layers how to blend your paint and everything else that might be useful to know about gouache so if you want to learn more about this amazing medium then enroll to this class and i'll see you in the next section